UK. Um, on the show tonight, we've got a lot going on this evening. We have in session um, a young girl. She's very young. Uh, she's got an amazing voice, and you'll know her if you listen to these. In session for Joe Wiley. Is the track. For Joe Wiley. You know that was going to happen. That was the track. That is the track she'll be doing a little bit later on the show. Probably half an hour's time, thirty minutes or so. She'll be singing live on this program. Skinny Love is the song that first propelled her into everyone's heads and ears, and they all knew about her um, because she was, I think, fifteen years old, and she performed that had an album out, and it was really well received. She came in, played live on this show before, so she's one of those people who are back for their second time to play on the program. Birdie in session after half past eight this evening. We'll BBC dots co.uk uh, birdie fans i know all around the world listening at the moment very very excited you don't have very long to wait i'm going to play this now at the behest of birdie who wanted me to play this it's from tracy chapman it's called fast car the other side of this you will hear birdie playing live <laughs> From 1988, that was Tracy Chapman, and it was Fast Car. And that was the choice of one birdie who is sat right in front of me now. Hello, good choice. Hello, thank you. Really, really lovely. How did you come across that song? Um, well, the album was just one that my dad used to play to me when I was younger a lot, so she was definitely like a huge influence. Yeah, you couldn't stop yourself from singing along to that <laughs> as it was going on. But it was like this awful countdown, just like waiting until we are going to be live on air. Last time I saw you was, was it two years ago? Or maybe 18 remember. months ago it was a while it was a while yeah but it was just you and your keyboards and then yep. today you have you're surrounded by yep. lovely band members yeah. here so who do we have with us we have rosie over there hey um, rosie rosie was definitely singing hello. to fast car yes <laughs> and we have barney barney hi here. hello simon on drum simon hi and richard over here. hello hello richard <laughs> <laughs> so where did you find this lot um well it was richard we got in touch with first and then we also knew rosie and um and we all met up in Bath and um, just got along really well. So when you're playing, when you're playing live, this is this is the band now, this is who you work with? Or, and are you all playing on the album as well? Or how's it all work? What's the setup? Um, well, we play live together and we've been touring uh, last year and um, we've been to Australia together. Um, and then and Simon's joined us now, and so we're. Uh, I'd imagine it's nicer, but to be completely, you know, obvious about it. But it's just nicer to be surrounded by people rather than doing it all on your own. Less nerve wracking. Yeah, definitely. They look much, after you. Yeah, it's much nicer to be with other people on stage, and um, yeah, I love being with these guys. So. I guess the first thing you should do is say hi to all the people who are listening from all around the world who have been getting in touch on Twitter and. I mean, they really like you. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know some people have literally not gone to bed or they've set their alarm clocks to be listening. I've and seen some amazing tweets. Yeah. People are listening through in the morning. Them, so. How do you keep in touch with all your fans? I'm just wondering where that love comes from, where that, how that relationship's come about with them. Um, well, I try to kind of tweet. I'm not very good at it, but I do try. Um, and, yeah, it's really important to just keep in touch and update the fans, so... I try to. <laughs> okay. How much of your day is taken up with tweeting? Do you, do you get moaned at? Do people sort of go, will you stop it? Or No. No, no, no. you're not one of those people. No, I, d I don't tweet enough. So I'm always like, thinking about it and trying to do it more. Oh, pretty guilty. <laughs> and how's the year been for you so far? We get to the end of the summer now. What's it been like? It's been really crazy. Um, we've, been, we've just been in Australia. And, um, and yeah, and that was an amazing. We got to play at the Sydney Opera House. And um, oh, we tell did us three about shows, that show. three shows there. Three shows there. Yeah, <laughs> which was incredible. Um, it's a really beautiful venue, and the fans are really wonderful. Um, and then I've just been getting ready for the album and recording. Went to LA to record. Um, and tell us who you're working with when you're in LA. What's happening? Well, I got to work with the same producer as on the first record. So that was Rich Costi in LA. And then um, I was also doing some writing out there, co-writing um, with is Brian Tedder. 
um, from One oh, Republic. Oh, Ryan Turner, One Republic, yeah. yeah. Right, Apologise and, gosh, what else has he written? You must be able to reel those off. What <laughs> Apologise is definitely my favourite and then they've got a new album called Native, I think, out. Yeah, Roman. and he but he's written some killer songs for other people as well, hasn't he? So good person yeah. for you to hook up with. Yeah, he's so talented. I felt really lucky, and um, also I was working with Dan Wilson, who um, he wrote "Someone Like You" by Da. Um, okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's quite a good person to work with as well. Um, if, okay, yeah. no, hang on. Have you written a song that you think is all up there with as with the Dells' "Someone Like You"? Yeah, have you? Um, I, I, we just tried to write like what we loved, and um, but I really love working with him, and I love the song we wrote. So, and what's it called? The one that you did. This one called "All You Never Say," which um, is out on YouTube, and um, and then I'll see one called "Maybe." Okay, and this is all on the forthcoming album. Let's get some music from you, and we can talk <laughs> lots more after. What will you do for us first? This is the single it's "Wings." Wings. Okay, it's Birdie live on Radio Two. Birdie live on Radio 2 and the album is called Fire Within. That was Wings that you just heard. Um, yeah, we well, still got it. 
There you go. You haven't lost it at all. Because I remember when you came on before, you it was you were. I kind of felt um, almost protective of you, and you felt you were kind of quite fragile and vulnerable. It was just you and your keyboards. It's very nice to see you with all these people, and the sound is so much bigger now because there's so much more instrumentation going on as well. Yeah, it's a bit of a change. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. You're what age you now? I'm seventeen. Seventeen yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. And how does it feel? What's different this time round with this album, doing all this promotion kind of stuff, and doing the shows? I think I felt just a bit more confident this time, and um, just because I'm used to everything, and um, and now that they're my own songs, I feel a bit more attached to them. So that's really nice for me, and it was kind of more fun working in the studio just because I had that idea in my head of how they might sound. And did you feel confident with your own ideas? Did you were you able to articulate what you felt and call the shots? Yeah, I think so. Um, like it was quite weird when I was co-writing. It's something I'd never done before. Mm. Um, so it's quite strange to go into a room with someone you've never met and just suddenly share all your ideas. Oh, God, um, talk us through, because I, I can never imagine what it's like. It must be really nerve-wracking. I think, you know, some of the most famous people in the world, people like Adele will say it's really, really scary. So you walk into a room, you've got an appointment with, say, Ryan Tedder. Yeah. And you, you walk into the room, and then what? What happens? Is it awkward at the beginning? Do you shake hands? Is it all fumbly? Yeah, it's a little bit. Oh, it is I think we shook nice. hands, and um, you just kind of talk for a bit. And then... Um, when you, does he, he sort of say, so how do you want this to be? Or does he say, I've got this idea? Yeah, we kind of just experiment and play about for a bit and, and see what comes up and what's good. And um, It's different with each person. Everyone has a different technique. So it was really interesting for me. Yeah. yeah. And so will he come up with certain lines and then you'll come up with your own certain lines as well and then you you kind of see what works, what, which words go together? Yeah. It's, we'll kind of just share ideas and um, put stuff forward and... Um, and sometimes someone will bring like a big idea and you'll work on that or just little bits and share. Who, who was fun to work with? Did you actually get to hang out with people? Um, yeah, I got to um, I got to work with Ben Lovett from Humphrey and Sons. Oh, right, yeah. He's been in a few times. Yeah, and, and um, that was um, in New York. I got to see, go and see him. And, um, and then we also went to see Ellie Goulding play live, which was really cool. I'm a huge fan of her, so that yeah. was really fun. Yeah. She's got an incredible voice and going from strength to strength as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. So do you watch people like the likes of Ellie and sort of try and learn and sort of, yeah, and pick things up from her and interpret it yourself or use it yourself when you're on stage? Yeah, a little bit. It's nice to see what other people do on stage and how they talk to the audience and stuff like that. Um, and how, how have you changed when you're on stage now? Do you move around? Do you, um, do you come from beyond, behind the keyboards? I will be, yes. You will? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to be standing with a mic and also playing guitar, so that's really new for me and scary. <laughs> yeah, really scary, I'd imagine. Yeah. Do you have people giving you advice on how to be and how to stand and what to, the little tricks of the trade? Um, not at the moment. I probably oh, should, no. though. I'm not... I don't know. I'm not... It's quite scary right now, but I think I'm going to get used to it. You'll be fine. It'll be absolutely <laughs> fine. But, yeah, it takes, it takes a lot of... It takes big balls to do that. <laughs> and obviously, you've got big balls. Let's um, just read out some of the texts that have come through. Um, Harry just says, I woke up at 3 a.m. just to listen to you. I'm not sure where Harry is, but 3 a.m. in the morning, listening <laughs> somewhere in the world. Um, this is from I Love Birdie on Twitter. Can't wait. I'm tuned in. Someone's listening from the Philippines at the moment. Um, that's Jade. Hi to Jade. And um, someone just says, I simply cannot breathe listening to the session tonight. <laughs> Please breathe. Don't, don't <laughs> hyperventilate or anything like that. Um, the next song that you're going to do for us, what will that be? This is Words as Weapons. Okay. I feel your life as it goes right in. To my core, but I'm not bleeding. All that you say, trying to make me small. Well, the bigger you get, the harder you fall.
have my heart, but I lock it up. This burning flame has been burned enough. My windows cry, they can be replaced. But your arm will tie, throwing stones my way. Words as weapons, and that was Birdie playing live on the show. I know people are beginning, obviously that's not live, but it really was live. Um, it was wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. It's, uh, yeah, great to have you on the show. I'm really pleased Thank that you've you. come in. When can people see you live? Um, I'm going to be doing three UK shows um, in Edinburgh, Manchester, um, and in London. Okay, and when are they? They're at the end of October. End of October? Yeah. Okay. Are the tickets still available? Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Okay, right. Well, they won't be for much longer, obviously, now that we've said that. <laughs> so people can see. And the album comes out on the 23rd of September, and it's called Fire Within Birdies, who you've just listened to. Um, what's happened with school and education, all that kind of stuff? Is that behind you now? Um, well, I was at college for almost a year, and then um, I've just kind of put it on hold for a little bit, just to concentrate on this album and get it right. And, and I'd like to go back, maybe in the future, and and continue but and family were absolutely fine with that they just said this was the right thing to do or were they um, panicking slightly it was actually them who wanted me to quit really it was um i kind of wanted to stay just because all my friends were there and i liked being part of it all but um i think they wanted me to do both but um i can always go back to that um and so yeah yeah and is it difficult keeping in touch with your friends when you're doing living a you know such a crazy lifestyle and so different to what they're doing on a daily basis or do you do you still is it still just the same it is the same um it's kind of annoying when you're away and you hear about things happening back home but um i get to go home quite a lot so i'm quite lucky do um, you just sit there on facebook just going <laughs> no i should be at that party <laughs> yeah you do <laughs> um, <laughs> but no it's i'm having so much fun doing what i'm doing and i'm so lucky so um yeah yeah. Who, who's the best person you've met so far? Someone that's rendered you absolutely speechless. Um, I really love Leanne Le Havas. I got to meet her. She's fun, isn't she? Um, yeah, she's really lovely. Um, and I got to watch her sing, and yeah, it's so beautiful. So. Yeah. Oh, that's, I thought you'd say someone like Justin Timberlake or <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson or somebody like that, but maybe that's still to come in the next year ahead. <laughs> I'd love to meet them. <laughs> <laughs> and have you done any photo shoots recently? Because that is all part and parcel of what you're doing as well. That you, all of a sudden you have to do these kind of, you have to pose for photographs and be this other person. Yeah, that's always quite strange. It's something I had to get used to. <laughs> but, um, but you got to wear some good clothes? Yeah, that's always really fun. Um, get to keep any of them? A few, which is Ooh. really nice. Yeah, <laughs> um, from the album launch, which was really fun. So yeah. from the album photo shoot. Yeah. 
Excellent. Um, okay, well done on the album. Thank you very much indeed for coming in and playing live on the show for us tonight. Thank you for having nice me. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Um, that is Birdie, who you've just been listening to. Let me just reiterate, the album is called Fire Within, 23rd September. That's when you can get hold of it. Yeah. Um, right, now's the time. If you're working tonight and you want me to play your song for the evening shift, get texting now. It's 88291, or you can email joe.wiley at bbc.co.uk. Don't forget to tell me who you are, uh, what you do, and also what song you would love to hear. And I'll play that for you at quarter past nine.